Hi, everyone. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. Please be aware that there will be no podcast tomorrow. The next Highlights from Ukraine episode will be released on Tuesday, May 23rd. For 451 days, Ukraine stands strong against the Russian invasion. Yesterday, President Volodymyr Zelensky arrived in Japan, where the summit of G7 takes place, reports Interfax Ukraine. There he met with British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Zelensky thanked Sunak for the leadership of the United Kingdom in the International Fighter Jets Coalition. He also had a meeting with Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni to discuss defense and political support of Ukraine. At a meeting with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Zelensky thanked India for supporting the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. He spoke about Ukraine's need for humanitarian demining and mobile hospitals. The President of Ukraine met with President of the European Council Charles Michel to talk about the issue of export restrictions on Ukrainian agricultural products by a number of EU countries and the inadmissibility of their continuation after June 5th. With French President Emmanuel Macron, Zelensky highlighted the importance of French support for the fighter jets coalition and its participation in the training mission to train Ukrainian pilots. Head of state also held a meeting with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, reports and VUA. They discussed the need to increase defense and security assistance for Ukraine. It is also expected that Volodymyr Zelensky will meet US President Joe Biden on Sunday. Ukraine's Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov announced that the regular meeting of the contact group for the defense of Ukraine in the Rammstein format will be held next week, reports European Pravda. The Rammstein format, also known as Ukraine Defense Contact Group, unites defense ministers and other high-level officials from over 50 countries that provide military support to Ukraine or consider doing so. Commenting on the formation of the so-called Fighter Jets Coalition, which will ensure the training of Ukrainian pilots on fourth-generation fighters, Reznikov emphasized that strengthening air and missile defense remains a priority for Ukraine. The minister welcomed the creation of a Fighter Jets Coalition and said that Ukrainian pilots are looking forward to starting training on F-16 fighter jets, reports Interfax Ukraine. If you want to support what we do, you can rate us in the apps where you're listening to this podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, and others. This really helps more people to find the highlights from Ukraine and learn the truth about Russia's invasion. Leader of the Wagner mercenary group Evgeny Prigozhin published a video near the railway station building in the center of Bakhmut, Donetsk Oblast. In the video, he claimed that his mercenaries had allegedly completely captured the city, reports Ukrainska Pravda. Prigozhin said that on May 25th they would hand over the city's defense to the soldiers of the Russian armed forces and leave. Later, the Russian defense ministry informed about the capture of Bakhmut as well. Vladimir Putin congratulated the Wagner mercenaries and promised the occupiers state awards. At the same time, Deputy Defense Minister of Ukraine Hanna Mahler said that the situation in the city is critical, but heavy fighting continues, reports Radio Liberty. According to her, Ukrainian defenders control certain industrial and infrastructure facilities in one of the districts as well as the private sector. On Sunday morning, the general staff of Ukraine confirmed that the fighting for the city continues. Pope Francis instructed Cardinal Matteo Zuppi, head of the Conference of Italian Bishops, to go to Ukraine with a peacemaking mission, reports Ukraine Forum. According to the director of the press service of the Holy See, Father Matteo Bruni, the Cardinal's visit can open the way to peace. Bruni also added that the time frame of this mission and its modalities are currently being decided. The Highlights from Ukraine podcast is a commercial initiative of just two people, and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.